If you feel it, chase it. No, not right now. Wait till after. Do it after. Chase oh, it after. We got wait. Yeah. After? Yeah, dude, we got to do this first. <clears throat> oh, you know what? That would be the logical thing to do. But okay, so let's go review Twisters. No! What's going on, guys and gals? And welcome to Good Will Hunting. It's your boy, Brad. The Brett Man's right over there. Today, we're going to be giving you a spoiler-free review for the new movie Twisters, directed by Lee Isaac Chung. Excited about it. This was on both of our most anticipated movie list um, this year. So we're, we're excited to give you our thoughts, quite frankly. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so in the comic section down below, please uh, be courteous to everyone that has not seen Twisters. So let's freaking, like, Brad, dive into it. Did this movie blow you away? Did this movie suck you into that famous suck zone? Or what did this movie do to you? Once again, we're blowing. We're sucking. We're doing everything in the middle. We're I love both. it. We're doing it all. This movie, okay, so this movie is about this character, played by Daisy Edgar Jones. She used to be a storm chaser. She gets sucked back into the life. Very, very familiar sounding to those of you who have seen the original Twister. It's kind of the same kind of setup. She's on with, with one team of people. She runs into Glenn Powell's character, and, you know, there's all kinds of crazy stuff that happens from there. Um, obviously, the tornadoes come in, and, you know, we know how it goes. It's basically more or less kind of a retelling of the original movie. But we'll get into that overall. I thought it was a good time, Birdie. I enjoyed it. It's a movie that it should be uh, enjoyed on the big screen, I think. There's a lot of good effects in it. There's a lot of cool, fun action sequence sequences with these tornadoes. I was slightly disappointed with it. Not to say that it's bad. Um, I thought it would be a little bit better. Uh, but at the end of the day, I still had a blast with it. It's still going to be one of my, you know, my favorite movies of the year, probably in the top 10, I would say. I do challenge you. Do not compare this into the original. I like, treat this movie as his absolute own thing. And I will guarantee you that you're still going to have a great time with it, no matter how big of a regular Twister fan that you are. Because this was my most anticipated movie of 2024. Uh, so it, this movie absolutely blew me away. And I haven't even seen this movie in 4DX, which that would be coming up soon as per this recording for me to watch this movie on 4DX. So I actually challenge you to go see this in 4DX, the biggest IMAX screen, the biggest Dolby that you could possibly find. Experience this to the maximum capacity at the theater because it is so worth it. And I would love to spoil the crap out of this movie. Again, can't spoiler free so everything was just so like this movie lived up to my expectations and this was a great reminder of a film that blockbuster movies like blockbuster feel it hasn't died away just yet yeah and yeah i know i know i shouldn't be comparing it to the twister but i when the when the movie's so similar and uh, you know i'm in there and i'm watching it, it's doing a lot of the same story beats like i just can't help myself but i keep thinking that like the original one the original twister is just far superior but uh, that being said there's a lot of good things here um, I like the way that, you know, we kind of start things off. You kind of have these two teams of tornado chasers out there. Daisy Edgar Jones, she's on one. That's really kind of like from a look standpoint, like they got all the, the technology and stuff. It kind of reminds you of Jonas's crew. And then they get introduced mm -hmm. to, um, to, to Glenn Powell's crew and they're they, that they got freaking red Dodge Rams and RVs. And that really reminds you of, of our, our people's crew. It's like a reverse kind of thing. So it was kind of cool to see like that. Uh, that rambunctious group of like tornado hunters from a different perspective at first. Obviously, things you know change as things you know roll in. The movie in general has a lot of nice callbacks to the original Twister as well, which I thought was cool. You know, you saw in the trailer of Dorothy, the Dorothy callback they had. There's a lot of stuff on top of that as well. So I really like that. Uh, as a huge Twister fan, I thought that was a lot of fun. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. It is. It's fun to see like those little like homages or Easter eggs um, in this movie of Twisters that respects uh, the original Twister. And that's the thing I will also give this movie major credit for uh, because there's not been a lot of movies out there that like, and that's the big like debate. Is this a requel? Is this a remake? Is this a reboot? Is this a sequel? The best way I heard that this movie was explained, that this is like, a, it's a legacy sequel. Meaning, kind of like a Jurassic World kind of like was. It's like that legacy, legacy sequel. Like, it's in that same realm that it can be a sequel, but it's absolutely its own thing. And this is what this movie did. Like, it course they respected what the past did but so this is like also in the best way possible too this is a great modern take 
on that classic movie of Twister and calling it Twisters. I think they did a phenomenal job at that. And another thing I want to add on to and get your intake, I thought Daisy Edgar Jones and Glenn Powell's chemistry on screen can really rival, I'm not saying better, but it could come close to a good debate up to the same level as Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton. I thought they were really great together. Yeah, I'll get into that in a sec. Um, you mentioned the modern thing there. Yeah, I mean, um, when Glenn Powell's uh, character is introduced, he's like a YouTube guy, you know, mm -hmm. which is which is cool. He's out there just trying to get some views. They got like a million subscribers, man. They're bigger than Good Real Hunting, but you know, not <laughs> by much. Uh, it's you know, they're out there. You know, he's out there just trying to chase these things and get the, the views and stuff. Um, but yeah, no, I thought their chemistry was great. I thought the movie, like once they like met each other and really like started to kind of like you know they they you know they started to Banter. work together and stuff. Yeah, like they like yeah they had more scenes and stuff. That's when the movie for me got really good. Um, but it took a long time for for it to get to that point. Unfortunately for me, that's where the story was like. It, it took forever to get to that point where our two leads were together. Um, mm -hmm. And I didn't really care much for the story prior to that all that much. I thought it was kind of weak and. Um, I didn't like because because here's the thing: those two characters were fantastic, but the rest of the characters kind of sucked. Like there was there was really no other characters in this movie that stood out to me. Um, so you know, you spend a lot of time with some of these other characters, and it's like, oh well, we're just waiting on Glenn Powell, um, pretty much because he really was the life of this thing. Now, not Daisy Edgar Jones was fantastic as well. I really liked her character, everything she was doing. She had a great performance, and you know, she was very important. But once Glenn Powell gets introduced, that's really when this when this movie takes life and, and, and takes off. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. It does. And that's where like Daisy Edgar Jones is like her performance elevated to another level mm -hmm. too, is when Glenn Powell uh, gets on screen and again, they interacted, but I would say Daisy Edgar Jones, like uh, towards like the middle and the end of this movie is like really her facial acting and her expressions on, and just how in certain scenes really just makes the scene a lot better with her performances as well. Hey, you were in a good old damn crowd. Like, hey, remember the time by Boucher found the crowd dance and find Edgar <clears throat> Jones. I think I, I'm even a bigger fan of her now after this movie and i cannot wait to see what she does next and speaking of glenn powell uh i'm afraid that some people will kind of like cast type him kind of like how dwayne the rock johnson and ryan reynolds are but i think in this movie in particular his style like his style of cast typing fits perfectly with this character and i think this movie is actually going to take him to a whole nother level i know some people have already saying his career is increasing rapidly but i don't think it's no longer being rapid it's going at an ultra speed of life pace because glenn powell has a bright future in hollywood yeah good year for him so far he's that dude man he's got the charisma and for i like i just don't think in general this movie would have been half as good if he weren't there he like he really Agreed. did like like he he made it and, and that's the thing is when whenever things like we're actually really starting we had these two leads together and everything was clicking and moving it lasted it didn't last very long i thought like you know it, it was pretty much time for the movie to end at that point that's the one issue i had with that what do you think about the, like the tornado sequences and stuff though uh, I thought they were really great. Uh, like, especially, you know, with the technologies we have nowadays, uh, I thought the technology was really great with um, like showing the tornadoes on screen and showing the destructive power of these tornadoes, which that's to me, the scary part in a kind of a way, it's not really labeled as a horror movie, but in some type of way, you could make Twisters a horror movie if you really wanted to, uh, with how dark it gets at times. Like, because I'll tell you, they do not hold back on the destructive power of these tornadoes. They really go for it in, cer in certain scenes. But with the looks of them, I think they're really solid. But there's just it it doesn't compare for some reason it just doesn't compare to those shitty effects. Well, okay, they're not Shoot. shitty, but like, they're not shitty. I'm sorry, that was bad terminology. But they for some reason they just don't H. compare to the natural feel, like the natural feel of the '96 tornadoes used in Twister. But Twister still nailed it, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I thought they looked pretty good, but I that's the thing too. When I was watching the movie, and I I just kept thinking in my head, I'm like, man, those. Those 96 tornadoes were a lot more effective for me. And maybe it's because, you know, that's the first time we ever saw tornadoes and you still have the nostalgia. But like, I, I know that, you know, the CGI is as much improved now, but I just felt those to be in the original movie to be much more memorable. Like, you know, there were some good and, and more intimidating, too. I didn't really find these to be all that intimidating because, hmm. you know, there's this, you know, with especially with the way 
uh, particular characters interact with the tornadoes and what they do, it's like, okay, well, now you're just going there and you're doing this. And it's like, okay, is, is this thing even a threat? There are a couple good sequences. One of them we saw in the trailer um, with the with the stampede and stuff. Well, there was no stampede, but you know what I mean. If you saw the trailer, you know what I mean. <laughs> that was a cool that was a cool sequence. Um, nighttime thing kind of comparable to the one um, from Twister uh, at the mm -hmm. at the drive in uh, that I thought was that was pretty creepy. Um, but overall, a couple of them, I, none of them really stood out as like being really super awesome, but they were, I mean, again, they, they, they did look good. Dude, I think the, uh, never underrated take on um, with this movie. And I even say this, this was an underrated take on Twister, but the same thing can really be used for Twisters. It's the story, um, in this and not only, it's just the story stuff between mainly the characters of Kate and Tyler, because like they get you, oh, even uh, Anthony Ramos, which I thought he was pretty solid in this movie. He had a good character development. Uh, Tyler definitely did. And of course, the main story belongs to Kate. And I thought that Daisy Edgar Jones and the character she plays told that story very, very well. Again, is it better than the story of Twister with Helen Hunt's character? Absolutely not. But it's a standalone thing. I still think uh, on a good topic debate, it could really compete. Yeah, I you know there's still there's a couple things that I do think that the movie with her character does actually better than Twister and, and you know there's one there's there's a there's a there's a traumatic moment you know earlier in uh, Daisy Edgar Jones's life and this movie plays upon her PTSD a little bit with tornadoes mm -hmm. and I thought that was pretty cool um, yeah. it, it just a little bit I kind of wish they would have went a little farther with it but it's like it there's a mm -hmm. there's a couple scenes in there where it was really good you could tell that she was really scared and and really uh, didn't want to be in that situation so uh without saying any more than that i thought that was effective it would have you know it really was a good story point they could have continued to hammer home and i think i would have liked it even more but uh they I, that was a good thing to explore <laughs> I thought the team was okay. Like, it's sorry, man. You just can't beat the team. That's uh, Philip no. Seymour Hoffman. You can't beat that team. Not even like that is a country mile thing, but like they weren't bad. It's just, they were solid for what they were asked to do. But unfortunately you're not going to remember any of them. No, they weren't bad, but they, they just weren't really even there. Like there was nothing really about them that stood out. There was mm -hmm. nothing special about any of them. There was, they were just very generic side characters and I didn't really like Javi. I didn't, I didn't like his character. I thought he was, I, I just didn't, he, I don't know. He annoyed me. I've had the time of my life in the movie with this thing. Blockbuster still can be made right. Uh, so as of right now, Brad, uh, again, it's hard to find flaws for me. I could just pick, pick it apart but as of right now i'm gonna give this movie a 4.75 out of 5 not necessarily a golden reel just yet it might happen in the future but right now as just these little flaws or just these little like negatives hold it back for me i'm probably gonna give it more around like a 375 I think at three seven five i think it's it's a good time it's definitely a movie that i'm gonna it has a lot of rewatchability for it um, you know, cause it's got all these moments. So, you know, my thoughts could change. Maybe we'll see I, if I can, you know, if I can remove it from the original, um, then yeah, then maybe I think so. Um, but you know, right now, probably three, seven, five out of five, I'll say this, it's a lot better than it could have been had a different director gotten it. And they were just doing some generic cash grab. It's, it's way better than it could have been. <laughs> What did you all think about Twisters? Did you really have a great time at the theater? Uh, do you kind of like a 50-50, like there's some good things to it and some bad things? Or do you just totally despise this movie? Let us know in that comment section down below. Let's get that discussion rolling. And of course, please keep it spoiler free. Or I'm going to have to put the boots to you. Yeah, and if you want to find a good reels, you can do so by finding us at all of our uh, descriptions. Uh, our links to our socials are down there in the description. Check them out uh, right down there. Absolutely, freaking lutely until then. Brad, can I now go chase this thing? Chase it. Chase right. it. Bye, guys. Only if you feel it, though. Ah!